These splicing videos are intended to show the techniques involved in splicing Samson high-performance ropes. Some repetitive sequences have been edited for time. Watch the video to become familiar with the individual steps of the splice. When performing the splice, follow Samson's written instructions for the step-by-step -step procedure. Written instructions at samsonrope.com. This splice procedure has been developed and tested for use with Samson Class 1 products only. Class 1 ropes are produced with traditional fibers, polyester, olefin, or nylon fiber. Instructions for this splice can be downloaded as an Acrobat PDF file from samsonrope.com and are also available in print form in the Samson splicing manual. The eye splice is used to form a permanent eye or loop in the end of the rope for attachment to a fixed point like a cleat or mooring bollard. An eye is also used to form the rope around a thimble to protect the rope when attaching to a shackle, chain, or wire rope. Eight strand ropes, also known as plated ropes, are composed of eight strands grouped into four pairs. Two of these pairs turn to the left and two pairs turn to the right. The written instructions refer to gray and white strands. Here, we are marking the similar strand pairs for easy identification. From the end of the rope, count 10 picks and make mark 1. The mark should pass over the center of the two pairs of strands that rotate in the same direction. Form the desired size of eye in the rope and make mark 2. Tightly tape the rope at both marks. Now, mark all the strands that rotate to the left. There will be two pairs. Marks need to be clearly visible. These are analogous to the gray pairs in the written instructions. From the mark made earlier to define the length of the eye, working down the standing part of the rope, mark a minimum of six pairs rotating in the same direction as those marked earlier. Turn the rope over and mark the opposite pairs that rotate to the left. Note that the mark strands are directly opposite each other in the braid. At the end of the rope, remove any tape at the end and tape each of the eight strands individually. With the ends taped, unlay the strand pairs all the way back to the tape at mark one. Keep the pairs of strands together while unbraiding. Now, untwist each pair so the two strands lie parallel to each other, rather than twisting around each other. Tape the ends of the pair together. Repeat for each of the four strand pairs. Arrange the strand pairs as shown. Orient the rope so that one set of the unmarked strands is at the top. This places the other marked strands in the middle. There will be an unmarked pair on the bottom. Be careful not to twist the rope. After bending the rope to form the eye, 
pull the unmarked pair that is closest to the standing part of the rope over the rope as shown. Begin the first round of tucks. The marked pairs will be tucked under unmarked pairs, and the unmarked pairs will be tucked under marked pairs. Begin with the marked pair at the top. Tuck it under the unmarked pair closest to mark 2, made earlier to define the size of the eye. Pull the strand pair completely through, making certain the strands don't twist in the process. Turn the eye over and tuck the bottom marked pair under the unmarked pair that is directly opposite the previous tuck. The strands of most 8-strand ropes are easily loosened to allow the tucks to proceed, but if necessary, use a fid or marlin spike to open the braid. The remaining unmarked pair is tucked under the remaining marked pair in the standing part of the rope. Turn the eye back over and tuck the unmarked pair under the marked strands closest to the first two tucks. Pull the strand pairs snug, but not tight. Make certain there are no twists in the pairs as they are pulled up snug. With the first round of tucks made, check for any pairs that may have twisted in the process and correct if necessary. Remove the tape at marks 1 and 2. Notice that where each of the strand pairs emerges from the previous tuck, it will follow like mark strands around the rope's braid through the remainder of the splice. Continue tucking the strands marked under unmarked pairs, and unmarked under marked pairs, until at least four full tucks with all four strand pairs have been completed. After each round of tucks with all four pairs, pull each strand to ensure they are snug and there is no twist in the pairs.
With the first four tucks complete on all four strand pairs, the splice should appear as shown here. The splice should now appear as shown in this illustration. Separate the strand pairs. Select the strand furthest from the eye in each of the four strand pairs. Continue the tucks with the single strands in the same pattern. Mark strands under unmarked strands and unmarked strands under marked strands for two more full tucks. Now, tape all the tails and cut off. Tape it close to where it emerges from the last tuck. The splice is now complete. The finished splice should look like this, all tucks following the original lay of the rope. The eight ends can be heat fused so they won't fray, but be careful to avoid damaging any of the strands. 